Hi, in this session we will discuss about the construction, working principle and different types of transformers. We know that a transformer is an AC machine that transfers electrical energy from one circuit to another. This happens without change in frequency and it works according to the principle of electromagnetic induction. We will see the construction of a transformer. A transformer basically has two parts, the outer core and windings. These two are the parts of a transformer. The winding through which supply is given is called as primary winding and the winding that is connected to the load is called as secondary winding. Now we will see the principle of operation of a transformer. Transformers work according to the principle of mutual induction. The action is based on the principle that the energy may be efficiently transferred by induction from one set of coils to the other by means of a varying magnetic flux provided both the sets of coil are on a common magnetic circuit. In a transformer, the coils and magnetic circuit are all stationary with respect to each other. The EMF are induced by variation in the magnitude of flux with time. When the primary is connected to an AC supply main, current flows through the primary winding. Since this winding links with the iron core, current flowing through this winding produces an alternating flux in the core. This flux is alternating and it links with the secondary windings also. So, an EMF is induced in the secondary winding. The frequency of induced EMF in the secondary winding is same as that of flux or that of supply voltage. This induced EMF in the secondary winding enables to deliver current to an external load connected across it. Thus, energy is transformed from primary winding to the secondary winding by means of electromagnetic induction without any change in frequency. The flux of the iron core links not only with the secondary winding but also with the primary winding. So, it produces self-induced EMF in the primary winding. This induced EMF in the primary winding opposes the applied voltage and therefore it is also known as back EMF of the primary. This induced EMF limits the primary current in the same way that EMF in a DC motor limits the armature current. The direction of induced EMF will be always opposite to that of applied voltage according to Lenz's law. Next we will see the types of transformer. Transformers can be classified into different types based on several categories. First we will see the classification according to construction. According to construction, transformers are classified as core type transformers and shell type transformers. This is how a core type transformer looks like. In core type transformers, the core will surround the winding. It has two limbs. Laminations are cut in the form of L-shaped strip. Cross-section area is rectangular in shape. 
primary and secondary windings are placed on the side limbs. It is also called cylindrical or core winding transformer. The flux is equally divided in the side limb. Here losses are more when compared to shell type transformers. Next classification is cell shell type. In shell type transformers, the winding surrounds the core. The laminations are cut in the form of E and I. It has three limbs. The central limb carries the whole flux and side limb carries half of the flux. Width of the central limb will be double to that of the outer limb. Mechanical strength of shell type transformer is high when compared to core type transformer and the losses are less when compared to core type. The next classification is based on the output voltage. Accordingly, we can classify the transformers as step up and step down transformer. If the output voltage is more when compared to that of the input voltage, we call that transformer as step up transformer. In the case of a step up transformer, primary winding will be having less number of turns when compared to secondary winding. Step down transformers are those in which secondary voltage is less when compared to that of primary voltage. In this case, the primary winding will have more number of turns when compared to secondary winding. So, primary will be high voltage, low current and secondary will be low voltage, high current. Now, we will see what happens if DC supply is given to a transformer. If rated DC voltage is applied across primary winding, a constant magnitude flux will set up in the core. There will be not be any self-induced EMF generation. For linkage of flux with secondary winding, there must be an alternating flux required and not a constant flux. Resistance of primary winding is very low and the primary current is very high. So, this current is much higher than the rated full load primary current. As a result, the amount of heat produced will be greater and therefore eddy current losses will also be more. Because of this, the insulations of primary windings will get burned out and the transformer will be damaged. So, the transformers cannot be operated with DC supply. Now, try to answer these questions. What is the function of a transformer? Why efficiency of a transformer is high? State any one difference between step up and step down transformer. Why DC supply cannot be given to transformers. Hope you all have understood the session. Thank you.